Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. It only takes a couple of mice or rats in your home to cause expensive and disgusting damage. And if you don't deal with them right away, you'll end up with a full-blown infestation. So don't chase your tail trying to get a rodent problem under control. Learn the steps to contain it quickly. Trap, repair, avoid, and prevent. To control the rodent problem quickly, you've got to set traps correctly. That means you need the right amount of traps. For mice, set traps every 8 to 12 feet. For rats, every 15 to 20 feet. And replace them until the rodents are gone. You need to put traps where you see signs of activity. You also want to place them where rodents have to cross them. Put traps or bait stations in line with the wall. Put snap traps with the baited end against the wall. Once you know where to set your traps, choose your bait. Peanut butter works great. Seeds, crackers, and bacon bits are also good bait choices. Don't bother with cheese, that's a myth. You should see results in 48 hours. If not, move your traps or use different bait. Rats will avoid new objects in their pathway. So for the first couple of days, bait the traps, but don't set them. Once they associate the trap with an easy food source, you'll have better luck catching them. So which traps work best? Well, any of the common traps are effective if you set them up correctly. The type you choose comes down to a couple of things. First, use the right size. Mouse traps won't help with a rat problem. Second, if you have pets or small children, don't use rodenticides and cover traps or use self-enclosed traps to prevent kids or pets from getting at the traps. Third, if you're squeamish, look for traps that keep the animal hidden from view. Or you can opt for a catch and release trap. When you've gotten rid of the active infestation, you'll have some repair and serious cleaning to do. Go room by room to assess the damage. Attics, basements, and crawl spaces are a hot spot. Rodents often travel along the edge where the foundation meets your framing. They can travel through ductwork, leaving filth behind. They often gnaw on wiring, which can cause a short or start an electrical fire. So inspect your appliances or have a professional check them out. Check storage areas. They'll chew through bins and boxes to get at the contents. Look inside drawers, cabinets, closets and shelves, even underneath furniture and cushions. You may find holes that need patching or other signs of activity. And check all food storage areas thoroughly. Discard packages or disinfect containers if they show signs of damage or contamination. Wherever you find dead rodents, droppings, or the shredded materials they use for bedding, you want to disinfect the area without stirring up contaminants and breathing them in. So instead of sweeping or vacuuming, follow this method. Open doors and windows to let fresh air into the area for at least 30 minutes. Spray the area with disinfectant or a solution of one part bleach with 10 parts water. Let it soak for five minutes. Then clear up any debris with a paper towel and dump it all in a sealed trash bag. You also want to disinfect floors, counters, and items in the area where you found signs of the rodents. Textiles like upholstery or carpet should be steam cleaned. Bedding, clothes, textiles, or stuffed animals should be laundered in hot water. Avoiding and preventing a future problem is essential to control a rodent problem, or they'll keep coming back. To prevent rodents from getting in and around your foundation, seal up any gaps that are larger than a common pencil. For a quick fix, a wad of steel wool and a shot of expanding foam can help. For a more impenetrable solution, you need a mortar patch or install galvanized metal flashing. To prevent mice and rats from climbing in through the roof, cap chimney openings or staple metal hardware cloth around attic vents, soffit vents, and dryer vents. To get rodents to avoid your home, Trim overgrown landscaping. Remove piled up debris and equipment. 
Store lumber and firewood away from the house. Store pet food and bird seed in strong, tightly sealed containers. Upgrade flimsy food storage to glass, metal, or heavy-duty plastic containers. You can also use repellents to get mice and rats to avoid certain areas. Try rodent repellents that use botanical ingredients like balsam, peppermint, and spearmint. Sprinkle predator urine in the area, or try ultrasonic pet chasers. Getting rid of rodents isn't a pleasant job, but the quicker you act, the sooner you'll be in control. So remember, you've got to trap a rodent problem to control it. For the tips, advice, and tools you need, visit your neighborhood ACE and find us online at acehardware.com. ACE is the place with the helpful hardware, folks.